If you usually delete unwanted files, photos, and videos from your iPhone, great job, this helps your storage from filling up. But have you ever noticed that sometimes, even after deleting things, your available storage is still tight? That's because the apps might hold on to deleted files for up to 30 days in case you want them back. So if you need more space now, you can empty the trash on your iPhone. But before we dive in, do us a favor, hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to ring the notification bell. That way, you'll never miss out on our content. First, even though the iPhone doesn't have a dedicated trash folder, many apps have a recently deleted folder that you can clean up. The Photos app, for example, is one of them. Also, I don't know about you, but I have tons of similar photos in my camera roll, and that takes up a lot of space. So you can delete duplicate and similar photos to free up space, and you can do this quickly using Clean My Phone. I've included a link down below in the description for you to download it, or you can scan this code with your iPhone to get the app. Once you open Clean My Phone, you'll see the declutter option, which analyzes and sorts your media files, selecting those you may not want to keep any longer, including duplicates, blurred photos, and screenshots. And there's also the Organize module, which shows you stuff that you might want to organize and similar photos that might not be that relevant for you. After the scan is complete on both of these modules, you will have the option to tap on each of the categories of clutter to deselect the ones that you want to keep, or you can go ahead and clean it all. Now, if you use the Files app, it's worth checking if there is anything that you no longer need, delete, and then clean up. Open the Files app on your iPhone, tap Browse in the bottom right corner, and tap on Recently Deleted. All of your recently deleted files will appear on this list. To delete them, tap the three dots in the top right corner, select, tap on all of your recently deleted items that you want to permanently delete, tap Delete, and then tap on Delete again. Next, if you use the Mail app, you can do the same thing after deleting an email as they're also moved to the Trash folder. Open Mail on your iPhone, swipe left on any email that you want to delete, tap Mailboxes in the top left corner of your screen, and tap Trash. Here, tap on Edit, select All, and then tap on Delete. If you want to empty trash in the Notes app, tap on Folders, Recently Deleted, tap on Edit, tap on Delete All, and then Confirm by tapping on Delete Notes. And last but not least, if you record voice memos on your iPhone, you may notice that it uses up quite a bit of storage space. And just like the other apps that we've talked about, when you delete a voice memo, it is temporarily moved to the Recently Deleted folder and permanently erased after 30 days. To clear the trash in Voice Memos, open Voice Memos, tap on the arrow in the top left corner of the screen, tap on Recently Deleted, add it, tap on Delete All, and then confirm by tapping on Delete Forever. Now, before I conclude, make sure to check out our video on how to clear storage on iPhone as well. The link is included in the description below. And there you have it. This is how you can clear trash folders on your iPhone. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to ring the notification bell. That way, you stay in the loop for all things iPhone. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.